Hey guys, today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and a really quick demonstration of the Quest 3. I'll make sure to throw in some footage of some gameplay with the headset so you guys can kind of get an idea of what it looks like to actually be wearing these things. All right, so to start the unboxing, you pull that tab and the tab over here. Now I can actually slide this off. All right, and now you guys just lift it up like so. The packaging this year is really nice. In the past, they had bigger boxes, so they've definitely reduced the size. The handles are a little different than the Quest 2. You no longer have the big ring. They are a little smaller as well. You guys still get a wrist strap to make sure you guys don't fly this off. And don't forget to pull the tab. So it must come with batteries because that's the only reason they'd have something like that installed. So here's a closer look at the controller. You guys have the joystick up top, two buttons. You guys have two triggers right here. I have pretty big hands and they still fit me pretty well. All right. The best part, we have the Quest 3. So it definitely looks a little different than the Quest 2 with all the cameras on the front. Don't forget on the inside here, there's some plastic covers on the lenses. Make sure you guys take those off. Let's go ahead and try them on real fast and see how they fit. I think I'm gonna have to make some adjustments. Yeah. So it's super easy to adjust. Basically, I just grabbed these straps and I pulled this way and it got tight around my face. So that was really easy to do all by myself. Overall, the fit is very similar to the Quest 2. You guys do have some fabric on the side here, the USB-C, a headphone jack over here, but this does come with speakers already installed. You could sort of see these little uh, holes right there. That's where the sound goes through, straight to your ear. So this must be the volume rocker. You guys have a scroll wheel down here, which is new, and another button maybe to power on and off. For now, let's go ahead and set this to the side, see what else comes in here. All right, so we get a power block right here. A little round one that's kind of unique. We also have a USB-C to USB-C cable, a quick start guide just in case you guys need some help, and that's about it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set these up. I'll let you guys know how that process goes, and then I'll show you guys some actual gameplay in just a moment. So I'm gonna press the button right here on the side to turn it on. All right, so I just powered this thing on, and with the extra cameras, you guys can really see around the room very well. So even though I have this on my face right now, I can see everything around me. So basically right now they have like some instructions on the screen telling me to pull those tabs out. That's already done. All right, so while I'm going through the setup, I noticed the scroll wheels actually to adjust the lenses. So you guys don't have to take the headset off. You guys could do it all from here to get the perfect distance for your eyes. So now that it's connected to the internet, it's doing a quick update. It's only gonna take like three to four minutes and it should make a noise whenever it's done. So after we connected the headset to Wi-Fi, did a quick update, I paired it to the Meta app and now we are free to use it. So I was able to start the recording. I'm really not too sure what you guys are gonna see here, but this is where I'm at right now. So I have a little screen in front of me. I can see my hand. Technically, you guys can use just your hands as a remote now. So basically I could just pinch the screen here to select something and scroll, but uh, sometimes using the joysticks just a little easier. So apparently while I was making this video, I accidentally turned my camera off. So some of the footage of myself disappears, but here's some footage of me actually in a game called VR Chat with the Oculus Quest 3. I was pretty impressed with the actual footage of this gameplay. It was very easy to record as well as you guys could do it all through the quest. It's all in their normal menu. And then you guys could just send it to your phone and then you could just download it and do whatever you guys want with the footage. So when I compare this to the Quest 2 in quality, it is a little better. It definitely is a step up, but the Quest 2 is still a very capable headset. So if you guys are looking just for a small improvement, the Quest 3 definitely has that. And overall, it was a lot of fun to just simply explore this map wearing this VR headset. There's plenty of other games that you guys could do later though. So anyways, that's just my really quick unboxing and setup of the Oculus Quest 3. I will be creating an entire review of this later, but I definitely need some time to test this out some more. So anyways, that is it for the Quest 3.